Hi, I got my your plan open. Thanks for sharing it. Uh, in my copy of Home Designer Suite 2019. The first thing I'm going to do so I can differentiate all of these uh, terrain objects, so I'm going to go over here to display options. Uh, yeah, display options. And I'm going to go down to terrain. And I'm going to turn off the contours. They don't really help me figure out. I need elevation data on and perimeter and features. That's all, that's all I need. Those other lines are just kind of confusing. I'm going to open this object. You've got it set to minus 3,500. I guess that's 35 meters. I, I'm an American, so I, I don't think with the uh metric very well now i've got your uh picture on my other screen over here let me take a look at it let me look at an overview as well pictures just not it doesn't communicate as well forgive my slow computer but i just haven't upgraded it in several years you, you've done a darn good job so far. You wanted the, it's like a culvert there. That looks fine. The, the sidewalk probably doesn't, shouldn't slant into the culvert, but that's a refinement. I think you've done really well. Let me read your post again. Uh, let's see. Main house. Spikes along the elevation areas. I don't see any spikes. I don't see any spikes. <laughs> okay. I can't get the driveway to go gradually up. Oh, okay. Now that's a, this is a tricky one. I'm gonna go back to plan. And you should have a flat area here. That's probably what this is. Flat region, that's, that's correct. Actually, this shouldn't be a flat region, in my opinion. It should be, uh, let me get rid of that. And you get this, that set to 20 meters, okay. I'm gonna delete that, what's this? Terrain feature, we'll leave that. Okay, I'm gonna to go to terrain, and I'm gonna, under elevation data, I'm gonna use elevation region instead. It will give you better control. I'm gonna draw it underneath the building and the pool and the pool deck. And we're gonna open it and tell it to be, what was it, 25 meters? Uh, I don't remember. Let's see if I can figure it out. What's this set to? That's set to minus 10. I'm gonna set it to minus 25. I think that's what it was. Minus 2,500. <clears throat> oh, I've already got a camera open. Now I've got two cameras open. Okay, I didn't mess anything up well the building's now sticking up in the air that's a, a different matter and now you want this parking lot to gradiently rise Let me, uh, close this camera okay you certainly got the right approach here the software will create a gradient between one value and another. That's minus 35, minus, well, that's not going to give you a gradient. No, these are all flat, flat, flat. I'm going to delete them. This one's at minus 35, okay. Nice. See, when you have them all the same value, you're going to get flat. So I'm going to just delete that one.
Yeah, these are all the same. That's the reason it's flat. See what this one's set to. Okay, see this is 35 and this is 35, so you're not going to get a slant. What's this one set to? <laughs> all the same value. That's not going to work. I'm going to delete that, delete that. What's this? That's a driveway. That's your sidewalk, I think. Yeah. So, <clears throat> now how did you get that? See, it's still flat because there's no data in here to make it anything other than flat. And it looks like it's about the right level for the garage. Oops. <laughs> Whoops. And this, this, this is kind of annoying looking, but it's no big deal. It's just, I took, deleted all those values and I haven't given another one, but I want to figure out what the uh, bottom value here should be. That's, you know, that's the terrain plane. You must have a, what is this green thing here? No, that's just the edge of, the, of a terrain path. I was trying to figure out how you got that dip going in that culvert. I, I don't see anything there other than this. Maybe that's what you use. Okay. All right, well, this is 35 meters. I'm going to copy this and pull it down here to down here and give it a, if I want a down slant from here, and I need a smaller value than this one. Let's go uh, 25 meters. And then see what that does. See, it smoothed it out. And, well, it's it's doing a sway back from 35. Oh, wait a minute. Check that again. This is minus, oh, this is minus 35. I made it dip up, didn't I? That's right. This, that would make it come up. We want it to go down, so we'd have to go a larger value, like 4,500. Let me make sure that updated. Okay, I didn't think it updated. That's probably too much, but you get the idea. Uh, I'm not quite sure what this is yet. And how'd you get the road down there? I don't see anything down there telling it how high to be. Let me see if all your layers are on. Where is a uh, tool, isn't it? <clears throat> Elevation data. That should be it. Elevation data, data features and uh, to, uh, terrain per perimeter. So I don't know what's telling this to do this. You got this wall here, and it seems to be having an effect. There's your sidewalk going through. And this looking weird is just a transitional thing. See, everything else is staying put. And only here where I'm changing values. Not quite sure what that white stuff is. What is that? Plasterboard. Where's that coming from? What is that? Foundation wall. Oh, okay. I guess that's... Uh, an intended retaining wall and that might be fine we just need to get the values correct here I'm gonna lessen that value to uh, this 4,000 millimeters Could that helps a little bit let's see it's creating a problem here and I don't know what the terrain supposed to be I just know if you wanted to slant here in the driveway, that's how you do it. You create one value and then a value in between, but there's 
this sway is not what I wanted. So uh, I'm going to take this and copy it and take it about halfway. <clears throat> I'm going to make this uh, Thirty-seven hundred minus thirty-seven meters. Try to. Um, okay, that's that's helping a little bit. And don't just assume that the terrain is rebuilt. Yeah, see, it, it didn't co totally re rebuild, but see how that smoothed it out a little bit. I just if if I knew all the data about your land, I could work with this more cogently, but uh, I don't. So, let me move that. See, I got 30, 35 here, minus 37. I copy that and pull it down and about another quarter of the way and make this minus uh, 40. Remind myself what this is. That's at minus, we'll call this minus 41. They always make a change in that. Check it in the camera and make sure that the terrain rebuilt. Okay, see, it's beginning to smooth it out. It's still not perfect. But this is not a science, this is an art. There's more of a gradient in it, it's, it's a little wavy. But if you patiently work on this, you can adjust these values until you get the slant that you need and want. Uh, I'd really need to know what the, is supposed to be over here, and I don't. And uh, I can tell just visually it doesn't look right. But the pool area is still correct now. This building, you can just open the dialog box on it and uh, go over to the structure tab. And the floor is at minus 2,000. Let's, let's set it at uh, minus 2,500. Okay, that, that put it back on the ground. And I guess you've got auto rebuild roofs on so that the roofs adjusted automatically. But uh, I'd have to know what's supposed to be happening over here. I don't. I need to go know what's happening over here. But I, I've shown you that you can, if you put in all the same values, they're going to get flat. So once you understand that, then you understand better what you're doing. And, uh, these uh, foundation walls are not very reliable. I rarely ever use them. I'd rather use a, a slab or something that I can control more positively than walls have pre-programmed attributes in them that are not all that controllable. So you might consider doing away with this wall here and just replacing it with a slab or a series of slabs if you wanted to step down and so forth. But I've already slanted the driveway and I think that's the main problem that you were having. The rest of the stuff you've done has been very, is very well done. And I uh, hope this helps you. Um, and thanks for watching.